Hey guys, and welcome back for another update on the 66 Volkswagen Beetle, finally. Um, as you've seen, the motor's been taken out, rebuilt, back in the car. I've had the car around the block a few times for some braking miles. I ended up lowering the back end and then uh, pulling out the front end, um, welding some adjusters into the front beam, adding in some 2.5 inch lowering spindles. Um, but what I didn't realize was those lowering spindles pushed out the wheels and uh, they were rubbing quite bad, so I got some aftermarket uh, wheels and tires used. I uh, put those on, hoping that would solve the issue, but uh, they still rubbed a little bit, so I, I raised up the adjusters as high as they can go, but with those uh, lowering spindles, I moved the track out too far, and the wheels were still rubbing on the, uh, the fenders here. Um, it was drivable, but uh, hard turns and bumps, you can definitely hear it rubbing and you can see the lines on the tires where it's starting to wear in. So uh, I'm pulling these spindles out and I'm putting the uh, stock height ones back in and with the adjusters in the front beam, it should still be low enough to match the back end. Um, if not, I'll move the back end back up a notch and uh, do that until I get a narrowed beam. Alright guys, so there it is. I've uh, got the two and a half inch lowering spindles removed, the stock spindles put back in, stock bearings, tie rods. Um, a lot of work just to find out they didn't fit, but uh, as you can see, the car is sitting a little bit higher now. Wheels are tucked in, lots of clearance there. Uh, the front beam is adjusted as low as it can go. Um, I'll need to raise the back end up a bit, little, little just to uh, level it out a little more. And it uh, looks like maybe for next year a narrowed adjustable beam will be in the uh, in the works to uh, get sitting back low again without rubbing. Alright, thanks for watching guys.